third episode in a row. Let's get straight into the scroll. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am your Dragon Guy Gaming, Gaming Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of, you guessed it, Need for Speed Underground 2. Hope everyone's had a wonderful day, and I think you guys have been choosing Game Dragon plays. You guys are awesome. Um, well, hot damn. I don't know what to talk about. Jesus, I, I don't know. So, I, I'm just gonna say there is no, uh, question of the day here. And just pray to damn God. Oh, it's the bastard from the fucking... I had no need to do that to him. When it comes to formally racing... That dude was extremely smart. Not smart enough to avoid that event. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, here's where I fuck up the turns. Holy shit, fucking boner. Hey, green car. Fuck off. Hey, yo, green car! Fuck you! Can you get your fucking grill out my ass? I'd appreciate it! Why are you grilling me? Barumchik. I don't know why I do I, I do the sound effect. I have the I have the edit. Makes me wonder if I'm losing my goddamn mind. Yeah, tonight I've done a lot of races. Oh my sweet home river. Significantly, I think I left him. Significantly, does it? Okay, as I said last time, I am not going to be um, showing me driving to these locations for good reasons. Save some goddamn time. <laughs> All right, and the last one, the URL. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pause and I'll see you guys in a moment. So, BRB. Okay. We are here. And this is our fifth one, I guess. Good dog, you're gonna face some stiff competition on the track tonight. These guys don't exactly play fair and they just soon run over you as go around you. Make a good line and stay alert and you should make it to the finish. Oh boy. What the fuck said I don't want to? Uh. Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna pause the recording. Anytime. I need to.
Excuse me, guys. Um, I'm going to need you guys to um, fuck right the fuck off. Excuse me. Pinky. Oh, her name's Julie. Close. I didn't want to say girly because I actually like pink. I've done a lot of creative, creative characters on uh, WWE. And pink is sometimes like what I use for some of my uh, women or female characters. Purple, green, blue, red, something to show like any kind of uh, unity with what I'm going for with their characters, but... Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh. Yo, did anyone else watch that goddamn show? I, I wanna know. No, there, there is a question of the day. What's your favorite, what's your favorite car cartoon show? And what was your favorite old cartoon show? I don't really watch cartoons nowadays, so I don't know. But what it used to be was um, Family Guy. I, I you know what? It's not a cartoon, more like a yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, Family Guy is still my favorite. But. Uh, what it used to be, I used to watch a lot of different shows, but come on, you, the old Fairly Odd Parent show before it got crowded down with too much shit. Uh, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, which was another uh, wild one that I loved. Which, I, I miss that show. Or, um, I'm not gonna say. Oh no no no! It's the other uh, the other show I loved to watch, which was on Cartoon Network, was called Chowder. Jesus! They kind of canceled the show after uh, so many because I I know, like they um, I think uh, they were trying to go in uh, another direction, so they kind of canceled it. But I loved Chowder. I loved Chowder. Oh my god. The show was hysterical. And I will forever to this day say that if I had to choose like one show that I would say like is massively for kids that I would still go back and watch, it's Shatter. The first set of seasons were amazing. The first season that had like all the cooking recipes and stuff for like the weird amount of stuff. Is amazing before they started it like pulling out like different characters like and guy Panini fucking uh, the other the candle the candle kid I forgot his name One of, my favorite, one of my favorite characters in the show is either gotta be uh, Chowder himself or fucking uh, Schnitzel. Because I consistently say Rada consistently to this day. My family still does it. <laughs> Why? Because it's just like tomfoolery, weirdness, and there's no words to it. There, There is nothing. It's just a funny sound. And the dude was a fucking relatable character. Part of work. <laughs> you get to like a lot of the characters. I just noticed that uh, I've been talking for so long that I'm on lap four and I'm not sure. <laughs> I was on lap one the last time I looked up. I <laughs> started thinking about the race. 
I think once you get the map memorized, it's just like, go fucking ham at that point. And that was my fifth, uh, URL race. Never mind. There's another. Because why wouldn't they? Why am I in back? Why am I literally dead last? Why is Julie always sat up first? But the winner of the last leg of the race isn't. Julie, you are in my spot, bitch. Either relinquish it, or I extinguish you. I said, I said what I said. Hello, plane. Which means it's still an active airport. This is where I kind of distance myself from all the other racers. You don't want to hit the wall too damn hard, but you want to also want to make sure like you make the turn and your car is on the end lane. If you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, since I'm in first. But yeah, uh, the shows back in like the early 2000s were something fucking different. They were a different breed. Fucking, I can go on about different kind of shows, fucking Codename Kid Next Door, Johnny fucking Bravo, Come on Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie were on fucking something else. I'm pretty sure the creators of that show was on something. What were they on? I don't know, but they were on something. You tell me, you go watch an episode of, I mean, you go watch a couple episodes of that show and you tell me that you don't believe that the creators of Ed, Ed and Eddie were on fucking something when they were making those that show. It was fucking wild. That show itself was fucking wild. You sacrifice a little speed. Nothing flashy. But yeah, Ed and Eddie was just on some other shit. They were on some other type shit with their show. Like, you could swear to God. Like, you were on something when you were watching the damn show. And you're just like... And another show that still kind of lives up to this day, still regardless of, irregardless of everything else, was it's just Spongebob. You can show literally any any kid that show and they would probably still like it. Yes, How many fucking seasons are they in? I don't... I'm gonna flash it up on screen for when I, after while I'm editing this. But dear God... The amount of episodes. SpongeBob, the original show, is on. It is just. Whew. Anyway, on to another topic. I'm so sad about some of the other reboots that they've been having. That they had. Oh my god. I was so upset when they introduced Teen Titans Go. I'm just like, no. Don't, don't, don't. Introduce a new season! Introduce the, the new season of the original. Don't, don't, don't water it down for kids. No! I was so upset. I'm like, I'm not even gonna lie. I halfway enjoyed the Teen Titans Go. It wasn't bad. The problem was, it's just like, you took a great franchise in the Teen Titans. An amazing, amazing work of art. And then you butchered it in the name of kid-friendliness. 
the Teen Titans weren't always meant for little kids. That's why mo most of the time when you found it, it was on Konami. But... And they keep pushing the show, man. And then they did the whole daycare thing with Total Drama. Oh my god, Total Drama. I still love Total Drama. Total Drama in Seasons 1 to 3 was not bad at all. But oh my god. Anyway, I think I fulfilled my obligations to my uh, sponsor. Three different Street X's. Five different URL races. There, there it is. Stage four. Welcome to stage four. And that means that opens up everything else. Now we need our handy dandy. Map, 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 map. Map, 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 map. I need to see what I'm going after first. Now we turn the car up. There we go. Coal Harbor. Yo, dude, the construction on the road to Coal Harbor has been cleared up. Lord is there some good racing going on up there. Be sure to check it out. Spoilers. Nice job. The win completes your obligation to the sponsor. You're back to being a free agent. Maintain your performance so we can reel in another big fish. And that would be underneath. First, I'm going to be looking for the performance shops. So there is one right when I get through. Dude, you might want to check out the scenery in Cole Harbor. I heard the highway just got cleared up. Cole Harbor is where I'm going next, so. Let's get our asses down there. Yep, I cleared the scene. There we go. Alright. There's supposed to be a shop. The car specialty shop. I'm gonna be unlocking all of these first. Ooh, 200 now. Welcome to the car, Bayview Car Specialty Shop, Cole Harbor East Store. Locked access to spinners, audio components, and audio layout too. Okay! And right below- accessorize your ride with style and turn some heads when you race by upgrading your car's looks and audio right here. Ooh. This is gonna be so fucking good. I'm not gonna buy anything just yet, but I want those components. I want those performance parts. And there's several body shops down here as well. Okay, a little bit above. Up there. A little bit downward, actually. There's a performance shop. There's gotta be a performance shop around here. Yep, there it is. Pro level weight reduction, tires and brake performance upgrades. All parts unlocked at other performance shops and Megalo parts are also available here. Okay. 
videos. Hey, swap out stock parts with aftermarket hardware. Slam more power from your ride. Upgrade Do I get all of them? Yes. By swapping yes. Things. Tighten your gearbox and shorten your hard your suspension and slice through nitrous is extra power stuff your contact patch on the black top is crucial you know going fast needs to be found put your car on a diet less weight spool up some extra power by installing a turbo why are you talking like you are actually in a fucking movie that is from the 60s? Anyway. Hmm. So let's go open up some other stores. <laughs> I'm gonna up I'm gonna get out and just go and start showing out. Before that, let's get our other car in here. Let's get the Supra. If we're gonna start going hard, we're gonna start racing hard. As I said, I'm going to make sure that all my, um, this is going to, any new car I get, it's going to be like the upgrade. And there is a car lot down here, so what I'm going to see is if there is an upgrade to the Supra. If there's an upgrade to the Supra, then that's fantastic. Alright. A little bit up is should be a graphics shot. It's around the, uh, you know location up here. Is it open? Yes it is. And this is the last graphics shop. Locked additional paint categories and new vinyls, which is the pearlescence. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be good. I want to make sure that it runs beautifully before I start racing it beautifully. But yeah, the the Hyundai is going to be the more, let me make this a lot more beautiful car. Yeah, this is going to be a long ass, this is going to be a long ass series. Well, it's already 16 episodes, so it's, I think this is farther along than my uh, Jet Li episode okay oh the car lot is already open but right above it is the uh, body shop oh yeah these are gonna be some tight ass turns. 
Oh. But yeah, we're gonna take the rest of this episode to start looking through shit. And then we're gonna start building. We've already seen this. So let's see if there is a car that's better than the Supra right now. Welcome to the delivery room. Aluminum steel isn't crafted any better than this. Select Ooh, it eclipses. Set of wheels right here. No, I, I want to see the difference between the Supra and the uh, Audi TT. Because if I can just trade in, then I didn't do nothing to the Supra yet. So I'm going to just go right back in. Okay, let's see where the super is. Okay. This is the sock, so acceleration, I'm... Yep. Top speed. Yep. Handling. Oh my god, check. You want to trade in your Supra for the stock TT? Trade this car. <laughs> oh my god, I thank God that it actually. Wait. Yeah. We just unlocked the entire map, so I don't understand what stage 5 is, or how I'm going to get there, but this is what it is. <sighs> the R.E.T. The R. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Making this is going to be an incredible ride. Okay. A little bit above it on the map would be where the body shop is. And this thing handles so beautifully. Right there. And that means all the beautiful possessions that come to it. I want to 
want to see if there's anything like just hiding in the shadows. Check it out. Fenders, spoilers, side skirts. You name it, they do it. The body shop will make your ride stand out from those stocks. So, cars. a little bit to the left over there is um, where I'm going to need to be. Okay. Yeah, I'm answering things back because basically we're done for the episode. We've unlocked what we need to unlock and Hey man, get ready for this. The sponsor struck a deal with the producers of the DVD Burning Wheels. To get your ride on the cover. Only thing is, you gotta build your car six stars to make it happen. Oh, that's easy. Alright, so a little bit to the left. Up with a big triangle. Is another performance store. A six star ride. Coming right up. Say less. Yo, dog. Action, action, action. Haven't been able to pinpoint the place, but it's somewhere in the airport area. Friends tell me it's easy pickings. I'll give you a shout if I hear any more. Later. You're telling me I can't go... Over there is fucking... Alright, well, we're gonna take the ten minutes... Here. We're gonna take the 10 minutes here to just upgrade this car to literally level two. Because this thing has so much speed and so much handling that I sh there's, there's no way I can't use this car. But we're gonna be putting all the good looking shit over on uh, the Hyundai to upgrade their ride. So let's just go and upgrade. First, we gotta do the engine. This is three thousand. Six hundred. This is seven hundred and fifty. Nitrous Express. Yokohama. This package contains a part that is worse than the one you already own. Twenty-five hundred. Okay. I should just. Okay. 
Well, what we are going to do is just next time we're going to go off and do some races. Actually, before I get done here, what I should do is go see how much, how many races there are in here. They're going to add on some, so. I'll probably be done for the, uh, the night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 20 races. If I'm not extremely fast, then there is a problem. And I know I have... I know I have it, so that's the problem. So, what I'm probably going to do is start from the bottom. And work my way up for the next episode. Whenever I decide to do the next episode. So from Pearl Harbor. I'll be performing the Street X's. The Drift down here. And the Drags. Because by God. That it's going to be a drag. By God. So ladies and gentlemen. I do appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate it, and I hope everyone has a beautiful day. You guys are awesome. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, and I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. So, <clears throat> stage four of five. Let's just run it. So, if you guys have not yet, Go down in the description down below. There's all of our lovely and beautiful content creators. Go check them all out. There are a lovely bunch of coconuts that I can guarantee that if you guys like my stuff, you guys are going to like theirs. So go check them out. And also, while you guys are at it, hit the subscribe button. It's free. And you can always change mine later. So please do so. I promise you, it won't be a waste of time. If it is, then you can immediately unsubscribe. You never know. So with all that being said, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out, friendos. I'll see you guys next time.